Welcome to the TS Info Technology channel. Today we will see how we can convert array to string using Power Automate. So, in this tutorial we will cover three methods to convert array to string using Power Automate. The first method is join action and the second method is using join method. Third method uh, is using select action. Now let's first start with join action. How we can convert the array to string using join action. So now let's move towards my flow. So this is my flow. So this is an instant cloud flow which will trigger manually. And I have initialized a variable uh, that is array variable where I have uh, provided two emails is of uh, array format. Then I use the join action and I pass this variable email and then this action uh, accepts uh, two field that is from uh, in from field I am passing this variable emails from the dynamic content which is from here and then join with I am joining these two email with uh, string. Basically the join method will convert the array to string and then we are sending an email as an output so now let's run the flow and see how it works so first i will save the flow then i will click on paste then click on manually then click on the paste button then click on run flow then click on done here you can see our flow ran successfully now if i will go to my outlook here I will see all the emails is of stream and it, it is separated with the parameter comma. Now next move forward to the another method that is join method. How we can convert array to string using join method that is join action. We can also use join method. Similarly, I have created uh, the instant cloud flow and I have assigned two emails in the array variable that is emails and then I am using the join method similarly I am here I am passing the variable email in the form of function and then I am passing the delimiter that is comma which we will separate the two emails using delimiter that is comma so this action uh, gives the output like david at the rate tsinfo.com and um, comma brady at the rate psinfo.com so next in the last step i am sending the mail of the compose output so we can see the output so now save the flow and let's test our flow click on continue then click on run flow then click on done here you can see your flow ran successfully. Then come back to the outlook. Here also you can see in same way we got the email which is formatted uh, as stream. Now next move to our the last method that is select action. So here also I have created an instant cloud flow and I have initialized the variable as an array that is a person details here i have defined the array of objects where the objects contains a key value pair that is name and email and then here we are fetching the email in some cases you will get the array of objects and then you want the e you want to fetch the email and you want to send an e email to these two persons so in that case you need to use select action because it is area of object so we are selecting the output and then we are fetching the email then i will use this uh, this method will return all the e all the emails that is grady at the rate email.com and petty at the rate email.com then I am using the output of the select action and um, joining with uh, the delimiter comma. Then in the last step, we are sending email. 
so save the flow to check the flow we will click on test button then click on manually then click on test button and then click on run flow then click on done here also you can see your flow ran successfully and now if we will come back to the outlook we can see the email comes with the string format but we have provided as an array of objects so this is how we can convert array to string using join method and join action and uh, select action based on our requirement so that's all for today thank you so much for watching do subscribe to our channel to see lot more free videos on sapot online power apps power automate power bi and many more thank you